attacking pace and Dyer can exploit that. Piglet, he's had a goal! Oh, it's an own goal! Came back off the crossbar and hit Paul Richard right before bouncing back in. It was a fabulous hit by Higlett. He might not know it, but that bounced out and bounced in again. Jilson over Ipswich's first corner. Mowbray attacking it. It's come out to Clapper. Wide again for Jim McJilton of Northern Ireland. Mowbray going up there and equalising! A wonderful moment for the veteran. And the big old fella has equalised for Ipswich. I mean, that's one of the few occasions they've managed to get big people in the box, and he's come out the clouds from that one. Oh, it's on for Mela! Yes! From behind, the second string striker has Ipswich Town in front of Wembley. A new young hero for George Burley and his blue-shirted followers. Well, I think this lad's had a massive influence on it, and look at this. Sees the keeper coming out and plays it beautifully past the keeper. Long towards Naylor, who's brought that down fantastically well. Support wide is provided by Clapham. It's Clapham's cross, it's Stewart, it's 3-1 Ipswich! And Suffolk sniffs the Premiership! What a buy! What a buy by George Burley and pals! Marcus Stewart just might be the one who takes them to the promised land. Great cross, great header, a magnificent pull down from Naylor. Ball from Barnard. Thomas is onto it. Oh, it's a good touch by Thomas, who has gone down on the Mowbray's challenge, and Barnsley have their second penalty of the game. No question, he's obstructed. Smallest of touches, but he's still obstructed from getting a, a decent chance. Craig Hignett started the ball rolling for Barnsley. He's their top scorer this season. Hignett to keep them in it. 3-2. Life in the tie, life in Barnsley. Hope of a higher level. Forward by Morgan, up by Croft. Naylor. He stabbed it through. Royce is onside. Royce! Premiership! Done and dusted for George Burley. to the quick but elevation now surely assured